Biologists will often honor a person who first discovered a species by naming it after them. It's an age-old tradition, one that pays proper tribute to the contributions made to science by their incredible discovery. However, the rules have loosened over the years. It seems like many scientists today believe there is no problem with honoring people who have absolutely nothing to do with the discovery of the creature. Politicians, historical figures, athletes, and celebrities are the main source of inspiration. Several reasons could be given as to why scientists would do this, and most of them are just plain goofy. Such as... Number 10. Cyrillana Mercury, after Freddie Mercury. Even though the legendary frontman of Queen, Freddie Mercury, looked like a typical white European male, the truth is that he was born for Archibald Sara to parents from the Parsi tribe of Zanzibar. This is the same country where a rare species of isopod was discovered, and since Mercury is the most famous person ever from Zanzibar, the biologists who made the discovery thought it was only fair to name the species after him. This is how we ended up with Cyrillana Mercury being the second most famous thing that Zanzibar ever produced. Number 9. Arthrodactylus Conan Doyle after Arthur Conan Doyle. The Lost World by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle has been the Bible for lovers of dinosaurs and wildlife for over a century now. It tells the story of a place somewhere in the Amazon where dinosaurs and other prehistoric animals still exist. And even though such stories may sound ridiculous today, back in 1912 when the book was first published, many readers believed the hype. Back in 1994, two biologists named Eberhard Frey and David Martel named a genus of pterodactyloid pterosaur after Doyle, since his book contained references to gigantic reptilian pterosaurs. This is how the pain in the ass to spell Arthur Dactylius Conan Doyle got its name. Number 8. Pachygnatha Zappa, after Frank Zappa. Frank Zappa was one of the most important musicians and composers of the 20th century. He composed over 60 personal albums while he collaborated with many other artists from many different genres of music. Yet, for all his accolades and musical creativity, it seems like most people will remember him for his unique look and, even more, his unique moustache. His moustache stood out so much that it inspired two biologists from Belgium to introduce the Pachygnatha Zappa to the world. They named this type of spider after Zappa due to the spider's uncommon markings that resembled the moustache of the famous rocker. Number 7. Agra Schwarzenegger after Arnold Schwarzenegger Arnie is probably one of the most successful people you could think of. He managed to become the youngest Mr. Olympia ever and is widely considered to be the greatest bodybuilder of all time. He would then go on to conquer Hollywood, soon becoming one of the highest paid action stars of all time. His rising fame and numerous blockbuster titles earned him a star on the Walk of Fame, not to mention the governorship of California. But it's highly unlikely that Arnie ever imagined that he would inspire science as well. Back in 2002, a rare species of carabid beetle was named Agra Schwarzeneggeri. Since the remarkably developed middle femora of the males resembled Arnold's extremely muscular biceps. Number 6. Mastophora Dizzy Deni, after Dizzy Dean. Dizzy Dean was a hell of a pitcher and the last man to win 30 games in a season to date. Dean was known for his colorful personality. He liked to brag about his prowess and make public predictions. He would also often act disrespectfully towards his opponents. The unusual hunting techniques of the bowler spiders of the tribe Mastophora to Fourier reminded scientists of the antics, playing style, and excessive talent of Dean. These spiders make a large sticky ball on the end of a short thread and, just like an elite pitcher, chucks the ball at passing insects while hanging on another short, horizontal trapeze line. Just like Dean during his prime, Mastophora toys with its victims before executing them. This seems to be the main reason they got the name Dizzy Deni. Number 5. Dendropsophus stingi. Sting. Sting is one of the greatest and most sensitive rock stars of all time. He has used his music and talents as a weapon to bring people together through numerous charities, concerts for the third world, and many collaborations with Arabic, Native American, African, and Eastern European artists in an attempt to bring cultures closer together. Along with being a great artist, Sting is undoubtedly a great man as well. This is probably what ecologists were thinking as well when they decided to give Sting's name to a rare Colombian tree frog, recognizing Sting valuable charitable work for the rainforest. This is how we ended up with the term Dendropsophus stingi, which literally means stings tree frog. Number 4. Campsignemus Charlie Chaplin I, after Charlie Chaplin. 
Charlie Chaplin was an early Hollywood star, famous for his characteristic facial expressions, which could make viewers cry a mere minute after they were rolling on the floor laughing. Perhaps the most iconic aspect of Chaplin was his unusual style of walking, which eventually crossed over into the scientific world. Campsychnemus Charlie Chaplin I is a rare kind of fly that was named after the legendary actor for a very unusual and creepy reason. When this fly dies, its mid-legs take a funny bandy-legged position, which apparently looks exactly like Chaplin's legs when he used to walk around all like Charlie Chaplin. Number 3. Aptosticus Bonoi after Bono U2's 1987 album The Joshua Tree is one of the best-selling albums in history, with over 30 million copies being sold worldwide. It earned the Best Album Grammy Award that year, and Rolling Stone ranked it in the top 30 albums of all time. And even if Bono and the rest of the band anticipated all of this success, they never really could have imagined the album's name would end up shared with a morphological species of water trapped or spider. This spider was found in Joshua Tree National Park, California. Its discoverers named it Bono's Joshua Tree trapdoor spider or Aptosticus bonoi for short. Number 2. Norosaphus monroei after Marilyn Monroe Marilyn Monroe is the prototypical Hollywood sex symbol, remembered fondly for her curves, her sultry voice, and her iconic appearances in Playboy magazine. Speaking of her incredible body and curves, it seems that the scientists who discovered a new species of trilobite had a thing for her. They decided that the trilobite's hourglass shape reminded them of Monroe's curves, not to mention her bottom. Thus, they named the trilobite Nora Saphis Monroe after both Monroe and her given name, Norma Jean. Nora, Norma, close enough for science, apparently. Number 1. Scaptia Beyoncé Beyoncé Knowles is one of the most successful singers in recent years. A group of researchers decided to take a previously unnamed species of horsefly and name it Scaptia Beyoncé. But they didn't choose that name simply because they liked her music. According to them, the horsefly has a distinct golden-colored behind that reminded them of Beyoncé's. According to them, this bug is the all-time diva of flies. So I really hope you found that video interesting. If you did, please do hit that thumbs up button below. And don't forget to subscribe. Brand new videos just like this every day of the week. If you're looking for something else right now, why not check out my podcast? It's called Brain Food. You can search Brain Food, one word, wherever you get your podcasts to get that. And as always, thank you for watching.